Okay, so I am installing some HIK Vision um, 4 megapixel cameras and this camera is going to go in right up there looking down at the door so that if somebody decides to mess with my door or um, steal my packages, they're going to be on high definition video. So I'm using Blue Iris to connect these and these are PoE powered cameras and I've run Conduit to the cameras and so I'm actually in the process of installing the camera. I, I, these were about $63 a piece on AliExpress from China. Um, you know I really like the American ones better but they're about twice the expense and uh, they um, they have they're all metal and these are a plastic uh, base so you get what you pay for. So I ordered some boxes but these cameras don't fit those boxes so I went to Home Depot and I realized that the spacing for the mount is the size of an electrical outlet so I bought a two dollar box, a couple little fittings, and uh, basically I can mount the camera to these. And so that's what I recommend. Now it does leave some gaps in the back, but you know what? This isn't going to the moon. It's going to sit in a sheltered area and it'll be okay. So I like to pre-assemble these and then use glue to attach them to the conduit. So it looks like this before it goes in. And I'm sorry, my lighting's not that fantastic. I might be able to fix that. All right, that'll a little better. But um, I like to pre-assemble them before I glue them. And it does need to go in on the side because if you go in on the ends, your screws don't go through. And then for screws, I'm using brass number six uh, 32 screws. They're like a dollar for six of them, so they're cheap. Um, but the advantage to brass is they'll never corrode. And um, the way these work is the base comes off the camera. In fact, I'll show you. Um, and uh, actually, I take that back. So the box, I like to mount with these SPAC screws. And this is a couple dollars for a box of 50 of them. These are just a high quality screw. Don't use drywall screws. They rust and they're prone to snapping. So the way this works is you grab the base and twist and then this little ring comes off. And this is kind of the thing that I don't like is that this is, um, once you bend this to get this off, it never really seems to want to go back in properly. So this comes off and then um, you know the reverse is just the same and and again I just you know even once it's in there it, it's just not very sturdy the the ring actually seems to lock it in place but you want to be really careful because these tabs will break in a heartbeat I broke some on one of my cameras um, the first one I put in so and then you need to watch it because this whole thing will just fly apart here so just set this someplace stable and safe and then you screw this in to you know here and hopefully you've well, once you mount this you pull your cable and you terminate it with a jack um, I don't I don't recommend putting a keystone jack in. just just put an RJ45 connector on it so you can just plug it in and be done with it the fewer connectors the fewer places for problems um, so I'll go ahead and install this and then I'll put that camera in um, and it's really straightforward. And then once the camera's in, I can go configure it with the Hikvision SADP software, which you can download for free. And the first step in that is set a password and then assign an IP address that's, that you can keep track of. And um, you, you're off and running. And then you can set your parameters. And I'll do a video about that separately. Okay, so once you've got this installed and you've thread the wire through here, you just plug this in and it will power your camera up. All right, so at that point, the camera's powered. And now what I need to do is I need to reassemble this and point the camera roughly where I think it needs to be. So you wanna stuff this up in here as nicely as you can, but it needs to be out of the way or it will interfere with the camera swivel. And then this just swivels up like that. 
And then you need to pass this up because this is what's going to hold it in. And I don't really care where the name of it goes, but that's about where that camera needs to go. And at this point, that camera should be working. So now I'm going to go configure the software and see. And, um, you know, the advantage to this is that this box is about $3 and I can get it at Home Depot. So I don't have to order it and it's not 10 to $20 online and a cheap piece of crap that the threads don't work right in. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and uh, stay tuned for more videos.